And let me tell you a story. Shazam! Step into my world where you can be the story. See what it's like to be the next NBA phenom, the next frequency vibrations, a.k.a. freak. This is living the dream. What's going on, people? This is going to be my review of the NBA 2K16 My Career Story, um, directed by Spike Lee, also called a, a Spike Lee joint, a.k.a. living the dream. All right, all right. So what what do I give what would I give my what is my take on NBA 2K16 my career story um I would say I would say all in all it's pretty good um it was pretty decent I would say uh I feel like the story was centered towards kids children a little bit you know I think they try to mix the two like they try to make it for adults, but at the same time, make it appeal for, um, make it appeal to children as well. Um, yeah, it was pretty, you know, it seemed like a type of, uh, if you've seen Spike Lee movies before, um, you can see he kind of put his element into the story itself with the whole New York, uh, Brooklyn, uh, Harlem, uh, Type of uh, he had he added a whole like New York vibe to it. Um, let's see. Let, let me get into what was actually. Let me let me start out with what was actually bad about this story. All right. What was bad about this story? The thing that was bad about this story was um, it was a lot of. It, it seemed seemed like every cutscene had cheesy moments and had uh. It was, it, and it was, it seemed like it was trying to like force it down your throat, like, um, it was like, like, it seemed like every other, like every other, um, sentence that they were saying, there was, had some type of joke in it, like, uh, I think they could have toned that down a little bit, you know, it was not, it wasn't that bad, you know, it, it seemed like some of the jokes were kind of cheesy, you know, and, it, and I think it was kind of obvious that it was trying to appeal to, you know, to kids and stuff like that, but, um, yeah, another thing that I didn't like about this uh, story was that there was no really, it was really no, really had no control in what really happened in the story. Like, like as far as like um, what you do, it really doesn't matter um, in terms of where the story is going. Like the only thing that really that you really do that really affects the story is how you play in college. Um, the way you play in college depends on how high or how low you get drafted um, in the in the NBA draft. Um, another thing about that that you do that you can actually control is um, at the end of your rookie season, um, you actually get you get to choose what the next team that you want to sign with. Um, I think the teams that I chose, the teams that I was given at the end of the, they, they, okay, they allow you to choose between three different teams and um, and and pick your top three teams you want to go to, and then you get to negotiate, uh, put uh, con, you know, uh, negotiate either more, with more VC or negotiate for more playing time. Um, yeah, but that's the only two things that you, you it feels like he really had control over. But other than that, um, and the uh, last thing I didn't like was the, the ending. I think the ending was kind of it was too long. Uh, it kind of was dragged out. Made me want to skip it. It was very tempting to skip it because I felt like it it it, it 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 was too much. It was too much of. It felt like it, it didn't really wrap up too well um yeah and it was kind of annoying uh guy was talking for a long time but i'm not gonna tell you who but guy was talking a long time um uh, yeah that was only my that was the only thing that i really had problems with now what i liked about this story was that the story was pretty it was kind of interesting you know you're playing as frequency vibration and uh 
yeah, that's that's the name. That's the name of that's his nickname. Uh, that's the only thing they're gonna really call him. Uh, it's frequency vibrations or freak. You can't really change that, which is another downside of it. But um, that's not a big thing. But um, yeah, I think the story was pretty interesting. You know, you got a kid out of Harlem, young kid out of Harlem who's good at basketball, uh, who's won multiple high school championships, and he's on his way, you know, to the NBA. And when he's on his on that road to the NBA, he starts, to, you know, more and more responsibility is thrown on him to and how to uh, uh how to just sort of be a celebrity now and uh sort of how to manage his image so sort of. that's, that's pretty much the big struggle throughout the story was how he was going to manage his image and the people he was hanging around how that was going to affect his image and stuff like that um, i'm not going to really tell you what happens uh i think you need to you you don't have to play through that, you know what I'm saying, to figure that out. Um, um, acting was pretty pretty good, I guess. Um, acting pretty good, pretty decent. They played their roles pretty good. I feel like um, I would say my favorite character was actually Victor Van Leer. Um, yeah, he did. I think he did a good job of playing his role out of everybody. Uh, yeah, his, um, yeah, he had a pretty good character development throughout all the characters, you know, as far as you, when you go through the story, you find out more and more about the characters and who they really are. Um, um, yeah, I think the, I think the story was real realistic, you know, as far as, like, how you are before you get famous and how you are after you get famous, you know, I think that's, I think it was very realistic in that sense. Um, yeah, um, yeah, and there was some pretty nice plot twists that happened throughout this story. Now, I'm not going to spoil them in this review, but, um, yeah, there was pretty good. There was some things that happened in the story that really caught me off guard and, uh, really, it really surprised me, but, yeah, um, what do I give this story? Okay, I would give this story a seven out of ten because uh, it was real. It was decent. The story was real decent. It wasn't. I wasn't. It wasn't bad. You know, it just had those elements I talked about before that kind of made it. Uh, that kind of took away from it. Took away from the story itself. But other than that, it was a pretty solid story. You know what I'm saying? Uh, nice story to play through. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't last. The whole time, uh, it only lasts. Only it, the story only lasts for the first for only eight games of like your rookie season. After the eight games, after your rookie season, the pretty much the story is like done. It's over with, um, and then you continue playing on with your my career and building up to be the best player ever. But yeah, um, that was my take on the NBA 2K16 my career story. Uh, Feel free to give it a like if you agree. Uh, if you disagree, feel free to um, comment below and say why you disagree with my opinion of this story. But uh, yeah, see you guys later. Colossal King.